We are those that believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. We don't believe in the post-trib or mid-trib mid rapture that many believe because the scriptures, quite frankly, you'd have to do some allegorizing and, and twisting. The straightforward sense of the scripture is pre-tribulation rapture. Uh, for those that believe in that mid-trib or pre-wrath rapture, uh, the reality is that understand the whole entire seven-year tribulation is the wrath of God. Uh, we note this in, in the fact that the whole sealed judgments, the beginning of the sealed judgments, which begins in chapter 6. In particular, verse 16 says, And they said to the mountains, And rocks fall on us, and hide us from him that sits upon the throne, and the wrath of the Lamb. That's the Lamb of God who opened up the seals to begin with. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who will be able to stand? The whole point is the wrath of the Lamb. God gave judgment to the Son himself, as, as in other scriptures points this out, that, that the Father gives Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, also judgment. And here is his judgment, beginning in the, the beginning of the tribulation. And that great day, great day is coming, who shall be able to stand? And understand that the church is not appointed to wrath, according to 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 1, verse 10, and also 1 Thessalonians 5, 9, which says, For God is not as point us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by the Lord Jesus Christ. Not talking about hell here. We're talking about, we're talking about judgment upon the earth in the seven-year tribulation. It's the time of Jacob's trouble. The church doesn't need to be there. Understand that. It's the time of Jacob's trouble, time of Israel's trouble to wake them up. And it's, of course, as Paul said in Romans <clears throat> uh, 11, all Israel will be saved. And so this is the time when that happens. It's also the, the time when the gospel will indeed be going out to, to the whole earth at that time. The two witnesses, the 144,000 Jewish witnesses. And if that's not enough, angels flying around with the everlasting gospel. That's when that is fulfilled. The church hasn't fulfilled that, as you know, although that's our commission to do the best we can to get the gospel out there, but it's fulfilled in the tribulation. And multitudes will get saved at the time. Israel, uh, as a nation, will come to know Jesus Christ as their Messiah. So it's an exciting times. Uh, it is God's wrath. And so for the, for the pre-wrath people that believe, well, the rapture doesn't happen until before the wrath, well, this is before the wrath. It's the pre-tribulation rapture. God bless you as you worship and seek the Lord Jesus Christ, who is King of kings, Lord of lords. He's the one that loved you so much that he gave his life on that cross for you. He paid the judgment that we could not pay. Believe in him today. Repent from your ways, that means turn from your ways and believe the gospel. Believe on Jesus Christ and, and receive him. As many as received him, Jesus Christ, to them he gave the power to become children of God, even to them that believe in his name. God bless you as you believe and trust and walk with Jesus today in his name.